All right, I'm ready to do my video, I think, for today. Today is May 7th, I think. And I am at a place, it's only like an hour, hour and a half away from where Steven's house is. It's called Mike's Farm. I've been here before uh, with Steven and we had a good time. Um, I got here really early. I got here at about 8.30. Um, they said I could come really early because they're having an antique car show. Actually, you can see it right there. Um, today. I don't think I can zoom in with this angle, but, um, so, I mean, that's kind of fun. That's something for me to go and look at. Uh, the dogs are all doing good. Remy and Martini were outside for a little bit, enjoying the sun. Um, Foxy's just hanging out and chilling. I spent, I think, some time cleaning up things. Oh, last night, it turns out that, um, my fridge didn't turn on and so once again it thawed out and it leaked and there's some water damage to the wood but it's strange because I feel numb to it today. Uh, last time this happened I was like super distraught and crying and just falling apart and uh, this looks worse than last time but I guess I just don't care. I think I'm still feeling, still feeling things. Um, yesterday in the afternoon, I just finished packing up the trailer. I had messaged a couple friends asking them if I could stay with them and nobody really answered. So I asked the neighbor if I could just park in the front yard for one more night and she said it was fine. I just watched Law and Order in the evening and I went to sleep. Um, I still don't really want to be around people or really talk to people. I told um, Sarah um, in Colorado uh, that I got engaged yesterday, so that was kind of a nice momentary distraction. Um, so maybe that's something I can do to kind of each day give myself a little bit of, I don't know, hype or happiness or whatever. To be able to tell people that I'm engaged. Um, and then I woke up really early and then just left this morning. Um, I'll probably go into Mike's farm and get, so, so this is through Harvest Host that I found this spot. And I'll probably get some tea because I think there's like some jalapeno chai tea here and it's absolutely delicious. I had it, I got it last time. Um, I don't really have very good service so I probably won't do much. Maybe I'll do reading, I don't know. I'm trying not to fill in my time or fill in my space. And I started listening to this podcast which actually has been pretty helpful. Uh, I don't remember the name of it right now, but it's talking about, like, there were two episodes about, like, the pre-deployment, which was really encouraging and just kind of honestly really made me so thankful uh, to, to know that Steven put as much effort as he did into the pre-deployment and preparing me, and I just continue to think how thankful I am that he set me up for success and set me up for this all working out smoothly. And I'm just so thankful for that. And I have no resentment. I have no anything. If anything, I want to be excited for him. Because there's some good experiences. And yes, it may be kind of sucky. But, and we're away from each other. But I want him to have a good time. I want him to... It's, it's, I imagine it's cool to go with your boys. And, and go and be able to travel. And I'm so happy for him about that. Um, so I continue to feel so, so grateful so grateful incredibly grateful for everything he's done for me um and even what he's doing now because it is a sacrifice for him to leave and to go do this so 
I'm very, very thankful. And that's kind of what the podcast talks about of being grateful and not resentful. And, and I'm, I guess there's pros and cons of having kids. I guess the pros of having kids is it continues to make you push, push, you still have to keep moving forward. And, uh, I don't really have anything to make me keep moving forward. And so I will probably sit in this a little bit longer. Um, but whatever I am, I, so there's a show out here and I want to go, I really want to go and see it. I want to, but at the same time too, I see the cars and I think, I wish Stephen was here. And maybe it's like the self punishment thing again coming through, but like, I think to myself, mm, there's some people walking over here. I don't know if they're coming here or walking by. Anyways, um, I think what's hard for me is that I see like this, 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 this show out here and I really want to go to it with Steven and I feel like if I, I feel bad if I go and experience it without him. And so part of me was like, I want to put life on hold. But I know that's not right either. I don't know. I just feel a little bit, I guess, emotional. Because it's like, I feel like my best friend is missing. I don't want to do everything with him. I don't want to be with him. I want to go experience things with him. There's like a food truck here and I just want to be with him. So, I have a feeling that's something I'm going to be working through while he's gone. And allowing myself to get back into that like solo independent mode and allow myself to have fun without him. But that's hard for me right now. He's, I believe, taking off right now. So, he's in his first leg of his flight. I think he's got three flights he's got to go. And he doesn't know if, if he'll be able to make his second flight. I mean, sorry, his third flight because he has to get a coat. This is when he rides in, like, Tokyo. And then he still has to take his third flight and... He has to get a COVID test and that's like a five to seven hour process and he's not sure if he's going to be able to make it to his next flight. So he may get stuck in Tokyo. Um, but I'm thankful that he, it looked, he, this morning he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to go on the flight. It looked like he had to take another test and it looked like he was going to get stuck in DC and so they did they did let him pass with being military so um it's all it's all good and i'm really thankful very thankful that he got onto his flight and he's all good so today i'm going to sit here maybe do some reading maybe walk around the farm a little bit and then stay the night here we'll see how the battery does on the trailer it's already pretty low I, um, but thankfully it is sunny. It's sunny today. I don't think I expected it to be sunny. I think it was going to, I thought it was going to be cloudy today. So that will help with the battery some. And then hopefully I can run the generator maybe a little bit later this evening just to get everything charged up for overnight. That is it. That's my processing. I'm doing okay. I don't really want to do anything. Part of me is like, I should set these goals. I should do working out and do all this stuff. But to be honest, not today. I don't want to today. Today I need to just sit. It's still within like 24 hours of him leaving. So. 24 or 48 hours. So. That is all. I'll be back tomorrow.